Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International Neil Artisan Educator here and I'm excited, yes I am excited, uh, because we are going to do a beautiful rainbow theme uh, design, you can have a wee preview of it in here. So it looks super cute and I think it is in all kind of my favorite uh, colors, everyone loves the butterflies, everyone loves the rainbows and the sugar, so everything in a one tutorial and I hope you really enjoy watching it. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there is few hundreds, yes, few hundreds tutorials for you to catch up on and if you're existing subscriber, thank you so much guys for all your support, likes, shares and we are almost at the 50,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate your help. Uh, because obviously we got so many subscribers because of you, because of your uh, comments, likes, shares and obviously watching those tutorials as well. And that's what keeps me really motivated and wants me to produce even more for you. But let's start this beautiful video. <laughs> I'm actually excited for this set because we are going to put finally a little bit of color uh, into it. Uh, so we're going to do a very simple pinky and let's do candy floss. So it's a 178. And then cook it in and the same we are going to apply on the middle finger cook it in and on those two fingers we are going to play with a little bit of the colors. So I'm just going to apply the high shine no wipe top gel and some gold chrome. So high shine no wipe top gel. Kick it in. And same on this one. And cook it in. Second layer of this color. has a wee shimmer through it. And cut the free edge. When working on the practice tips, make sure they are buffed properly so the gel polish goes on nice. I usually tend to miss the top parts a little bit. Now the high shine no wipe top gel is cooked. And I've got a wee hole in there. So it is going to be very visible when I apply the chrome. But it's fine, we are going to fix it in the next step. So not a big deal because we will apply some sugaring there as well. So just apply it, it all over, rub it in. And do exactly the same on the index finger. We 
we could use any kind of color of the chrome. This one is a silver mix with gold. And then scratch the free edge. So move your chromes on the side. And remove the excess of it. And the next part is going to be really fun as well. So we are going to take the Color Plus collection. And then using all the brush, yes, old brush, I'm just going to get those colors in there. So I need a drop of white, actually two drops of white. I need some yellow on its own and mix with white. I need some red, mix with yellow, just to create a kind of orangey shade. I also need some pink, so I drop more of the white, add it into my red. And I need a darker shade of pink, so a drop of red. And I need some purple. So a drop of blue into my pink. Drop more of the red. And then let's have some light blue as well. Okay, so this way we have created really nice colors. And now we are going to apply them into this design. So I'm just going to clean my brush, UV cleanser, roll the brush in, nice point. So this way you are not going to damage your brush. And now we are going to paint those uh, design which we are going to use sugar so for it. Apply the top coat actually before that. So apply the top coat quickly. Because the chrome needs to be saved. We don't want the chrome to come off. You get in. I was too excited about mixing all these colors. <laughs> And the reason for it is I love it because you've got only a couple colors and you can create any kind of color with it. So a couple seconds cure and then we can paint this beautiful design. And we are going also to use some glitter for the sugar on top of it. Now we're ready for a painting, so I'm just going to take a um, watercolor paint brush and we can do this beautiful design. Starting with the white.
and what I love about the paint on fringe gel and color plus they fab for a sugaring and we don't have to put the top coat over them they are absolutely fine then go into my yellow make a bigger gap just so you know where you're going Okay, another wave. So first of all, I'm concentrating on the bottom and on the top part to create the shape and then I'm just coloring it in. Now I know I can get closer. It's a quite difficult task because the chrome is very shiny. And sometimes it is difficult to see where you're painting. And clean the brush and move on into the next color. So this is going to be the orangey one. Or maybe I skip the orange one actually. And do I skip? No, I don't skip. I just make it lighter, a little bit lighter. That's a better one. Follow the shape. Okay, now fix the shape. Just so the gold has the same gap everywhere. Clean your brush and pick up the next color. really fun design to to do it okay fix the shape of it and then pick up the next one so the next one I want purple. Okay, 
and the last one blue. Then pick up the sugar glitter. So I've got some Mermine pigment and I'm just going to sprinkle over it. And the glitter is going to stick in only to the colors. It's not going to stick into the chrome, only to the colors. Remove the excess and put it inside the lamp so it's cure. Paint exactly the same on this one, or you could swap the colors as well. So you could apply like on white on the bottom, or you could make it thinner, you could make it thicker. I'm just going to clean my brush and pick up more. Then the yellow one. Clean the brush again. Go into the orange. It's almost like a painting on a rainbow. Go in the brush, goes to pink. And then go to purple. Actually, I'm just going to fix the pink. Like the slower you will go, the neater look you will get.
fix the shape and then the blue one now ideally I want to tidy up this mess a little bit so I'm going to take my D-liner brush because this one is really nice and precise brush so I can get the nice and sharp lines not as messy as the first brush and that just shows you like if you've got a good brush you can paint good lines and the other brush is good for different kind of things But if I want to have a nice and sharp look, this one is best. But it would just take me too long time to paint it with such a small brush. I want the gaps to be kind of same size so I'm just taking my time so the first look would be if you're in a rush and then this look is going to be if you really want to get it nice and neat and I think with the new artists all like this like the longer time we paint on the design, the nicer it is. Then the pink one. nice and sharp neat line purple pretty time consuming but i think it's a really nice and cool design and a blue one Also, now we can just sprinkle it. Okay, then give it a cure. And that looks so fab, this one. And let's do some quick designs on the uh, other ones. So we are just going to apply the high shine no wipe top gel just so the things goes together high shine no wipe top gel on the next one give it a couple seconds and then we are going to paint some what would you like to see butterflies or flowers butterflies or flowers cameraman butterflies. Can be butterflies. Be too, much. Not too much no always never too much i don't think so so a quick butterfly okay we are going to paint quick butterfly And this is pretty cool because we will use the same colors as well so the butterfly body is going to be white and yellow the head the body
this is going to be cute butterfly antennas dot track dot track in your brush and now let's do all these different colors like I think it will look super cool so we've got some pink And I have just painted like a wing. And we are going to fade it with different colors as well. So we will have some pink. Then after the pink, we can have some purple. So basically just use the same colors like you had to mix it. Then we're going into the blue. Tidy up the slides so they're nice and neat. Then after the blue we are going to go again to the purple. So I'm just going to mix a drop more of my purple. blue and red and then if it's too dark, a drop of white it's too blue and drop of red And I've got nice purple. And then after the purple, quickly paint the pink again. And let's tidy up those lines now. Blend the blue with the purple. And do exactly the same on the other wing. Okay, so we are just going to paint another wing. <coughs> which is on the bottom. Bottom part. So some more pink. some purple
Ja, ne blue. Blend it in a little bit and paint a small wing on the top. So it will look like your butterfly is flying. Color it in. Purple. And a drop of blue. I'm just going to touch up and blend this color a little bit more. Yeah, so it looks nicer. Get a bit of dust in there. Come on, dust came out. That's it. And then once you have this, sprinkle it with the sugar. So sprinkle, sprinkle. And then give it a cure. And here we are going to paint just a wee flower with the dotting tool. So we've got the combination of both. <laughs> Cameraman is happy and I'm happy. <laughs> yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, Dorota, don't be messy. Take your time painting those easy flowers. <coughs> Clean the dotting tool and then let's do different colors. So blue, Going to pick up a bigger size dotting tool so it's quicker. And then the other petals we can go maybe pink. No, pink is not going to be as visible. I need to make it more red. So I have to make it a much darker shade of the pink. Just so it kind of stands out on top of the pink. This is cool. <laughs> That's better. And the uh, one on the bottom, we can make it. We can make it purple. Actually, just a drop of blue. And I've got nice purple.
when painting the flowers you have to imagine like uh, doing the same gaps in all of them and I always start with the center because then this is the much easier to follow and if you want to make a fancy flowers so what you could do is you could take a brush and just drag those petals in okay, by dragging those petals you make them look more fancy So they are not just like a wee dots. And of course, just so all the design match, we are going to sprinkle it with the sugar. And then I show you the final looks. Absolutely sweet and cute spring design. But I love like that sweet only four gels. We can create so many different designs. So I'm just going to close them all. And put them on this. Wait. The first ones are definitely ready. So I'm just taking a nail brush, the dust brush. Remove the excess of the dust and look how pretty it is. So nice. And then I show you all the final look in the order. <laughs> Cameraman getting organized and giving me the blue tag. Thank you so much. And then the next one. Bring you the pink one. Yeah, we've got pink, blue. Oh, how you would call it then? It pink, would... pink tag? <laughs> pink tag. <laughs> okay, we got a special pink tag. That sounds weird, pink tag. Oh, it's called power tuck and it's pink. I actually am quite curious now. Yeah, home and office essentials. But it has the rainbow theme into it as well. Oh. Yeah, it's pink. Yeah, okay, we will use pink tuck for this set. So the butterfly is ready as well and you can see it it looks so cute too nice and pastel ones and put a bit of blue tack what will happen if we mix blue tack with the pink tack we will get the purple tack <laughs> <laughs> okay this one goes in there and the last one so i'm just cleaning the excess and we've got the last one. This is so cool. And then the fam, of course, you could do it. Probably the flowers to match the pinky. That's the final look. And I will show you it. So cool. Nice and sparkly and spring feel to it. I really love it. Not over the top. And I hope you have guys who really enjoy watching this tutorial and you have learned something from it as well. Glittery hats and bye for now. Thank you.